Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on umbilical arterial catheterization. The indications for this procedure are when serial blood sampling or blood gas is needed, or for arterial blood pressure monitoring. The contraindications include necrotizing enterocolitis, peritonitis, omphalitis and vascular compromise in lower extremities. This is the list of equipment needed for the procedure, which include umbilical arterial catheter dressing set, sterile drapes, umbilical tape. This picture shows an umbilical artery catheter. We would also need a gown, sterile gloves and mask. Antiseptic solutions such as chlorhexidine 2%, but to use diluted chlorhexidine 1 to 200 in preterm babies. 3 to 5 cc syringes filled with heparinized saline, heparinized solution for infusion and 3-way stopcock. For the procedure, place the infant in supine position. Clean the umbilical cord area and its surroundings with antiseptic solution. Place sterile drapes around the umbilical cord, exposing the umbilical area. Next, tie a piece of umbilical tape around the base of umbilicus. Cut off the excess umbilical cord with a scalpel, leaving a stump of 1 cm. We also have to identify the umbilical artery. How do we identify it and differentiate it from umbilical vein? There will be two umbilical arteries and they appear smaller compared to the umbilical vein. Next, use the curved hemostat and grasp the end of umbilicus to hold it upright and steady. Use the probe to open and dilate the umbilical artery. Once the artery is sufficiently dilated, insert the catheter to the desired distance. The formula of umbilical arterial catheter is body weight in kilogram times 3, plus 9, plus stump length in cm. Then, secure the UAC either with tape or suturing. Stick the label of catheter onto patient's folder for future reference. We can also perform chest and abdominal radiograph to verify position of catheter. The ideal position would be above the diaphragm, corresponding to the junction of right atrium and inferior vena cava. Consider removing catheter after seven days to reduce incidence of line sepsis or thrombus forming around the catheter. There are some complications that might occur, such as hemorrhage, embolization of blood clot or air in infusion system, vasospasm or thrombosis of femoral artery, causing limb ischemia. A partial or even complete limb loss is an extremely distressing complication. Thrombosis of renal artery, causing hypertension, hematuria and renal failure. Thrombosis of mesenteric artery, causing gut ischemia and necrotizing enterocolitis. Vascular perforation of umbilical arteries, hematoma, retrograde arterial bleeding and infection are possible complications as well. That's all for this video, thank you.